Alright, this is just a quick video by request sh to show how the multiplayer tracker works with the master camera rig. Uh, let's take a look at the rig first. Uh, we just have the main script and then the MC scroll script. That allows us to allows the camera to scroll in and out uh, when the multiplayer tracker adjusts the preferred distance variable. Other than that, we don't have any of the other options enabled. So on the multiplayer tracker, we've just got a few variables here. Our targets is an array, which we can track as many targets as we want. Right now, we've just got our third person controller and then just two dummy capsules. And then we've got our camera buffer distance and our camera angle adjustment, which we'll go over in a second. So let's take a look at the game here. If we take a look at this, our multiplayer tracker is going to be this little cube, and then our master camera rig is the sphere. And so when we hit play, our little cube here, our multiplayer tracker, is at the average point of the objects that it's tracking. So it tracks these three points these three characters and then it finds the average location of all three of them and then the master camera rig just follows our multiplayer tracker and our mul multiplayer tracker here will adjust our master camera's preferred distance so as we get farther away our preferred distance goes up so we zoom out and as we get closer we zoom in. This whole scene is set up as the fighting demo scene so that way you don't have to try and figure out all the little variables but what we have here like I said before our player variable is just our multiplayer tracker we're set up to the camera mode of follow and that's set up like that and then our multiplayer tracker we've got our three objects that we're tracking and our cam buffer distance so that just lets us zoom in and out and camera angle adjustment just lets us spin around uh, one thing you want, might want to take note of with the camera buffer distance is this is at you know 1024 by 768 ratio if you want to have your free aspect and you want like maybe something completely different you might want to adjust the camera buffer distance Let's see here how was it yeah something like that if you decide you want a game that's really tight um, you might want to adjust the camera buffer distance so that way you can keep everything in the frame one thing to take note of is if you've got one of the players that manages to get right on top of the tracker it's going to kind of spin the camera around. This won't happen if you've got if you're tracking only two objects like if we dump this down to two because the average is going to be always in between the two. Um, but when you've got three objects um, potentially or you know more than more than two, then you might have a little bit of issues with that but I would anticipate that if you've got three characters all running around on the screen at the same time uh, it's going to be very unlikely that they're all lined up in a perfect row like this to cause the camera to go weird. Players might be able to discover that and play around with it I guess but if you do run into issues um, with something like that let me know and I'll see if I can come up with a better solution other than that it's pretty simple I hope it works well for you and have fun with it